Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I would like to do a review on this infotainment screen Ford Sing 4A on the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. So, I will do the um, instrument cluster review on a separate video with driving hand-free uh, features. But this video, I would like to show you guys all the detail in this screen all the features and um, all the settings can turn on and off a lot of things in this uh, F-150 Lightning and also this is the main brain of this F-150 Lightning so okay let's start with um, now you can you guys can see on the outside here this one is a pro trailer backup and this is brake tra uh, trailer brake control and at the bottom here, this one is a windshield a heater, a max and a hazard light, a parking assist and a, a traction off a switch. And this is 12 volt socket and 120 volt AC 20 amp like household plug-in on the side. Okay, now going to infotainment screen, see the, the lightning a truck icon at the, at the top so let's start from the top to the bottom so when I click on that one and it's come with the uh, see controls and uh, settings so now let's go with the control first so it's dry mode um, normal mode is like every time that start the turn on the power start the vehicle and that is on normal mode all the time unless I switch it to sport mode so you guys can see it's changing the graphic of the, the truck up here on like a racetrack and and like you you guys can see it's a speed right so it's fast so and off-road mode so it's four mode um, in this uh, lightning that's uh, off-road so it's change the colors look pretty cool too and tow haul mode now it make the truck tow in the trailer and also uh, the bottom here this one pedal drive is not available in the tow haul mode and locking uh, differential so like yeah so locking the diff and uh, coming down to uh, camera so camera it's very crisp very clear camera front camera and then 60 degree camera 360 uh, sorry and I can change to a different camera to this one somehow it's not available so going to that's a front camera and like an angle front camera and the next one camera on the bed in the back of the, the truck and that's a rear camera and this one here is a camera for um, so for the head so let's say if I install the head here and uh, we see the head and when I back up to hook the trailer up which is how we do it uh, the next video here when I'm going camping planning for tomorrow okay now let's go back that's a camera and towing no I'm um, sorry we're going to access so access um, unlock charge cord uh, turn the light on and off so that's in when I turn the light on every time I open the front uh, front the light is automatic on so from here I can control uh, to open the, the front front with click on that so see you can you guys can see now the front uh, front is open like the hood is open and also the it's so in the screen here the hood is open so if I close it I just click it again it closed so yeah so it's it's very good feature there too so I don't have to and I also can open from outside and let's see the tailgate and the tailgate it doesn't open it's only the the front one that can uh, control on the screen okay now let's go to the towing so no trailer no active trailer so they have to hook the trailer in and to use this one but i can go into uh, connection checklist so yeah so the so we so us um every step when we hook the trailer especially like someone uh, will done hook up the trailer before 
so we can follow this and go into the next one now after I hook up the trailer lock the trailer now plug in the wiring and now hook the chains up and uh, for the trailer safety hook it up as well and now check the light trailer light to check and make sure and now have to uh, unlock and put away uh, put it up the stand the wheel for the trailer and uh, taking the block off the trailer tires yeah and uh, adjust the mirrors and now setting the trailer brake control yeah so that's all the trailer checklist and trailer light check um, yeah, turn signal left turn right turn reverse and brake and stuff like that just like normal check so everyone that been told the trailer should know all about that uh, at the trailer so now I don't have any trailer at in this one yet but I will add my trailer in put my trailer name and and uh, go from there see what it show me when I hook the trailer up now I'm going back I'm going yes yeah, that's a setting probably I'm going to setting to set up like trailer the trailer connection and uh, add the trailer just like the one before and uh, okay now I'm going to ambient lighting now this ambient lighting it's it's only uh, this truck it doesn't come with multiple lighting like my previous um, 2021 Mustang Mach-E premium it have seven colors so I can change the ambient lighting inside the vehicle with seven different color but this one it doesn't have that because this is lariat they said it's only the platinum that have that, that feature like seven different color lighting so this one i just change the brightness of the one color only uh, lighting inside and now the next one is amazon alexa amazon alexa look like i need to have an account to to use the alexa to like um can you can play the music get direction call and uh, control smart smart home device and stuff like that from from here from this uh, screen so okay now I'm going to uh, that's what before is on yeah towing so smart hit yeah so smart hit here's all the the tell us uh, to have to be a wheel pointing straight ahead and we go in part we go on a uh, level surface and stuff like that to and check the tie pressure and have to be in a recommended level and click continue now uh, quick setup and uh, set up the trailer connection checklist just like um, yeah we hook up the trailer and have to uh, go in Okay, pound, kilogram, so the trailer weight and stuff like that. So when I hook up the trailer, I have to find out more about that one. Okay, and onboard scale. Onboard scale, now I use it already and I did make one video uh, previously. And uh, let's say right now I don't have anything in the bed, but it showed me something, some weight in the back of the vehicle. I did have something in the front and nothing in the back right now maybe because the level is not uh, the ground is not well level so going to the next one uh, zone lighting now zone lighting you have to turn the power on I can turn on let's see okay now it's on so I can turn on the front light the side right side and the back so yeah so that's all the lighting so it's, it would be cool if I doing at night so I will do that on a separate video all the lighting uh, zone lighting and the lighting around this lightning so now next one going to put power on board so right now the power is turned on just inside uh, the vehicle and I can turn on the front like underneath like under the hood like the front and I can turn on the back too and uh, I can turn it off and also 
the inside one look like it's, it's always on but the front and and the back on the bed there i can switch it on and off and front circus yeah so when we using the power it can tell us on this bar over here how many watts and stuff like that yeah pretty cool too we go power down timer so also have a timer for power uh, reserve outlet will turn off at the selected value yeah 180 185 so that all the setting that we can set depend on uh, how much we want it and uh, parking assist so parking assist you have to do like go into the parking lot and stuff like that so but I can turn the parking sensor on and off so I can turn off, let's say I'm going to park the vehicle, going to drive into the garage, like really tight or something. So it's a sensor and 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 the, the chime not screaming uh, a lot. Like some people doesn't like the truck, it keeps screaming when it come close to an object. Yeah, so now it's an additional setting. Oh, there's a lot more over here. There's auto hold. I don't have auto hold on. So if I turn the auto hold on every time, stop the vehicle it it hold the brake it hold the vehicle so i don't have to always put my foot on on the brake pedal which is good and it's, some people doesn't like that so cruise control adaptive cruise control yeah so i can turn on and off all these uh, features inside this uh, employment screen so speed limit stuff like that i can See, set up the speed warning too if I want. Yeah, so turn on and off. A lot of things, lane keeping system, pre collision assist, rear wheel camera display. Yeah, so I can turn it off, on and off. A lot of things, the blind spot information system, so I can turn on, turn off, front sensors. See, all of this I can turn turn on and off like cross traffic alerts and stuff like that it's not everything that built in and we can't uh, control it so we can turn on and off a lot of features in here that's on the driver assistant and going to the next one vehicle yeah vehicle power down timer so let's say if i start i turn on the power and i'm not driving within like half an hour 15 minutes the, the vehicle is automatically set, set itself off so i don't have to switch it off yeah it's a lot of information here which is uh, so many the power tailgate and stuff like that so I want it manual or I want it power. See, let's say I don't like to use power, so I can just put on manual. Now this doesn't work, and I have to uh, close and open it manually. There's a lot of stuff. It's an alarm system. Yeah. So motion sensor on and remote start setup. Yeah, I can remote start the vehicle. I can use the app in my phone and every time it starts for 15 minutes, I can change it to 10 or 5 minutes for the vehicle uh, to start in winter time. So all the light locks, mirrors, a door keypad, the light is keep turning down. now it's not bright so I have to turn the, the bright on now go into sound system so sound I can just control with that so it's changing like the speaker so you put in the middle you can hear all the speaker inside the vehicle and uh, can do like a reset so let's say bring there press the reset it goes back again uh, phone list yeah so we can uh, connect YouTube to my phone to my uh, son my daughter and uh, yeah so and this one also can connect two phone at the same time which is very good this have Apple CarPlay and an Android Auto 
which is equal to that uh, in a second here. So charge, so right now it's 88%, 451 kilometer of rain. Uh, personal profile, I can set up my profiles, create my profile with everything I want here, like key and stuff like that. So right now, because I've been turned on the vehicle for a while, so yeah, so driver assistant, like we just, uh, just click on that before. Now I'm going to back to control. Intelligent backup. Yeah, uh, at station, so I don't have open the app, so I have to go with that later. I don't have the the charge station pro yet, which is I already ordered because this lightning is the extended range battery and it come with a Ford Charge Station Pro it for free but I have to go on to the Ford website to order it which is I ordered it already when I have that I will uh, hook it up to my house and uh, gonna use that um, in the future and uh, we show you guys how that work so the last one here is wallet mode so I can put key in here so I can lock up the screen if somebody coming to drive this vehicle they can't use the screen only turn the power on and drive so they can't access anything in here if I set um, my code in here to lock up the screen so and that's the last one go into the setting yeah the setting which uh, show you guys some already before yeah so charge personal profile drive assistant the vehicle general Go into general here. Um, there's language, temperature, measure unit, and tire pressure and stuff like that. Yeah, so I can, yeah, all all these unit I can um, select if I want. And touch screen beep every time I touch it, it say beep beep beep. And software license, yes, all these thing here. That's, that's a lot of information. Display now screen brightness and stuff like that so i can turn on a little bit more yeah and this is clock so i can uh, set the clock yeah uh, connectivity is like this one have um, a wi-fi built into the vehicle to so have to uh, activate your so bluetooth wireless app uh, projection and yeah, there's a lot of information here. I can't go into very detail everything. It's gonna be a long time. And system update. This is for Sing 4A system. It's uh, um, on the air update, so automatic update. So I didn't turn on the automatic update. So right now, in my phone, it it show me there's one update available. So I have to uh, click on that to do a system update. But I'm going to that uh, later. So mobile app, yeah, there's uh, temperature and comfort over here. So I can set up like departure, no, not temperature, departure and comfort. So I can set up the time, Monday, Tuesday until Saturday, Sunday, the time and yeah, all, all the time that I need for something. And just like the um, a reminder. So 911 assist. Ford assistant, yeah. So I I can turn it on and off like a voice command help. It's like a voice control uh, on. I can click on the steering wheel also to use that intelligent backup power. Yeah, that one's already uh, went through that. Okay, now this one is Alexa, and now I come to. Um, the one in the center here so I can create my profile and this is radio this is phone it's navigation yep and it's also this is Bluetooth and we can connect the Bluetooth to anybody phone that um, inside the, this truck that we want to connect to and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto yep this is Android Auto here and Trip Energy this one is cool too, so the distance from start to to the end, see how much, how many percent that we use, like let's say this 11% climate use and 
11% of driving, 33% accessory, and 45% uh, exterior temperature, like affect by temperature, quite a lot of uh, percentage of the battery use. Yeah. And owner manual is built in into the screen too. We have to go in, search it, and find it. Uh, any manual in this one, so category and yeah, even have YouTube to show us how to using some of the feature inside the truck if we're not sure. And this is game, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six game, different game in this one, so we can play. So I'm not going to play game. <laughs> And now it's over here to so see um, like a Wi-Fi update and the, the phone battery and stuff like that and temperature and the time. Yeah, and uh, this, if we can search for like and go into somewhere like address and stuff like that. I can, uh, so if I I'm go into this, now I have to go back, yeah, and click on, I can, uh, use a Ford map system so it will direct me where I want to go and if I need charge it will tell me so which is very cool too and see owner manual and this is uh, this trip here Apple CarPlay Android Auto uh, FM radio and below here is a uh, climate control uh, basically this is not a lot uh, up screen this chain this one is stay this way so this is volume I can turn this one for the volume on and off and I can use control the volume on the steering wheel and this is on and off for the like radio and temperature control so dual temperature temperature control on uh, passenger side driver side just sliding up and down like that yeah to go hot and cold and automatic uh, air conditioning like automatic um, climate control so I can turn it on and off with three rain and that's AC and that's a, a heated seat and cool seat so start from in the center if I going up so I mean heated seat if I going down that's a cool seat yeah so this is very cool too I like that feature and a heated steering wheel uh, fan control yeah or oh, I can click uh, plus plus and minus over here for the fan speed too yeah and over here is a heated uh, windshield yeah and for the rear one and there's a seat for the passenger side front and also have a rear heated seat as well that control in the back yeah, and this is mode. When we when I click on the mode here, I can uh, use like uh, from the floors and the vents and the floor. Turn on three of this uh, uh, setting at the same time. Uh, on the older vehicles, only can go um, van and a windshield or a floor, so cannot go three. But this one can uh, put on three setting at the, at the same time. It's, which is very good yeah so I guess that all the not all like a lot of information in this infotainment screen so I have to spend a lot more time to go in there to but now we're going to use all of it just uh, some of the main thing and yeah so when I switch it off and uh, see I even I can turn this one on and off too if I don't want every time it's turn off and tell me to check the rear see if I forget any uh, kid or baby in the back yeah so and um, screen here the map is very smooth the glass here just like an iPad like very very good and very responsive yeah I love it and that's that's all I can show you guys in this video so there's a lot of information in here I have to um, going through like a little bit by a little bit and for setting and stuff like that so if I go into um, discover like if I can go in there and find something that interesting I will 
make a video and uh, share with you guys so what do you guys think about this infotainment screen so i think this f-150 lightning screen is the biggest screen on like um, 1500 pickup truck right now um i haven't seen the one on the hummer ev and on the rear view. the screen it look big too but so far i like this screen and also same the same one on the one the one on the mac e this one is also look a little bit bigger with like the gold color um like outside here i don't know what to call this one but it look very good look a lot bigger and yeah yeah that's it for this video uh, hope you guys enjoy watching it and uh, i'm sure that i'm not like going through everything in this screen like probably gonna sit like a few hours so yeah so thank you you guys so much for watching again and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will have more video about this lightning and in the future subscribe to my channel and i'm very appreciate for that have a great day and see ya